What's going on guys, D-Legend here. Today we have a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video and we are going to be talking about the two medals that just recently got upgraded. So literally a few minutes ago, these two medals got upgraded and I'm really excited to share with you guys what they do and my thoughts on these medals after they've been upgraded. So before I start the video, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road content. And here we go. So a few updates in game right now. Won't waste too much of your time on them, but first and foremost, Union Cross, make sure you guys do it because there are some pretty cool perks of actually doing it this week. So first and foremost, there are the Supernova++ Plus Plus, uh, Illustrated BC King Mickey, so Black Coat Mickey uh, traits, as well as the actual medal itself that you can get through the Avatar board, I mean the uh, Union Cross boards. So make sure you guys collect enough coins to actually get a copy of him. The only copy you can actually obtain um, without having one with already before this. Aside from that, there's a lot of gems and some jewels to be grabbed, so make sure you guys get those and um, stay on top of things. Next up, there are a few things going on in the shop. So the imitation metal deal. So this is for the brand new Supernova Plus Plus Tune Nominee. And this is the upgraded version of Toonamine already. We'll talk about her in a second, so I won't spoil what she does quite yet. We'll talk about all that in a second here. Uh, this is the metal adjustments. I will talk about that. I haven't actually seen what they do yet, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys. And it'll be a nice live reaction, I guess, of sorts. Uh, Autumn's Mushroom Gathering event. I love how they keep saying it's autumn, even though it's literally winter. I swear, it's winter. Because we've had snow for the past month and a half now here in my city in my country but anyways autumn's mushroom gathering event find a gold tricholoma get draw tickets sun gem and speed gems so let's you, let's go mushroom gathering you can find gold tricholomas complete the challenge and receive five draw tickets sun gem and four speed gems so let's go ahead and try to do that real quick here because i'm pretty sure this is like a timed event i could be wrong though it could be something completely different but let's take a look here real quick and see if we can beat the event right here now. But if not, it's all good. So we have to defeat two different gold trichlomas. I guess it's not a timed event, never mind. So what I'm talking about for timed events, it me like I'm talking about events that have set times where you can fight different enemies. So this does not look like one of those quests, but let's just do the first one anyways and see if we can find the gold trichlomas. I mean, they can't be that hard to find, right? Okay. Wow, that one just popped out of nowhere, so... Heads up, that's that one's there. And then this one's pretty easily visible, so... This shouldn't be too, too hard. I probably won't do them on camera. Unless you guys need help with it. But let me know in the comments below if you have any difficulty with these quests. Some free draw tickets and gems, and avatar coins. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so moving on, let's go talk about the two brand new medals that just got upgrades. Not brand new medals, but the two medals that just got upgrades. So these are actually all really old medals. So we have two Noriku here and two Namine that just got upgraded. Two Namine is a tier 8 medal originally, and she came out, I want to say two years ago. Probably a good two years ago now. She was a really, really solid copy metal back in the day, and I think I got her boosted in my first pull from the nominated banner, so that was really cool. Uh, Toon Riku, I think, was one of a few different Toon medals that came out um, in one banner. I don't remember the exact banner, but I'm pretty sure you were guaranteed one of those, me like, one of the medals within, like, I mean, one of those medals per pull, um, one of the banner medals per pull. So I think I pulled once and I got two Nariku, so I do have both of these medals, so I can upgrade both of them for you guys and kind of take it from there. But let's talk about two Namine first, because she is the first on the list here. Already I can see that she won't be all that great, but okay, so let's talk about two Namine. Supernova++ Plus Plus two Namine has a maximum base strength of 45,614. Special attack, uh, she does a single target attack because she is a copy metal, and so she'll Buff your metal strength by 2,000, and then also um, increase your upright strength by 15 tiers. 
and she'll also buff or unleash the unleash the same special attack as the next metal. Works only when set before a metal, so it'll copy the metal right behind it. Costs zero gauges to use. It's a tier 10 metal now and 40.03 multiplier. Supernova wise, this metal has an AOE attack. It has mastery, and for one turn, it'll buff your metal strength by 12,000. Buff yourself for general and power base strength by 15 tiers as well. Debuffs the target's general and power base defense by 15 tiers. Special attack bonus plus 320%. 240 times multiplier there. So it, she's not really on par with copy metals of today. But she does have a really good supernova effect, which is to buff your metal strength by 12,000. So there's not a lot of supernova metals, uh, copy metals, that actually give you big buffs like that. Um, the closest thing we have to that is Axel and Lee. And if we're talking Axel and Lee here, these metals do buff your metal strength by 12,000, but they are copy metals that are unique because they do copy the metal that it's set three slots ahead of it. I mean, before it. No. Yeah, before it. So if this metal, let's say it's set on your pet slot, it'll copy the metal in slot number three. I believe, right? One, two, yeah. So that'll copy the metal in slot number three. Whereas Nominate does actually buff, I mean, copy the metal right behind it. The only other difference is that Axel and copy metals of this, like, day and age, will actually buff your strength by a significant amount, more than 2,000. So I feel like they did Nominate, like, they, they kind of they kinda went a little harsh on Nominate here. She's not as good as she could possibly be. But let's upgrade her. And make her aim to the Supernova++ plus plus version of 2 nominee, the tier 10 version. And there you have it guys, we'll just max her out because she's a really cool metal to have. Where is she? There we go. We'll level her up to max and we'll give her full chips and bales and take a look at her real quick here. So yeah, I think my copy is boosted because I do have the strength and defense highlighted in yellow there. Um, the cost back in the day for these metals wasn't actually um, given a reduction to denote its boosted version, but this is a boosted copy of Nominee, 2 Nominee. have decent traits on her already, so I'll probably just finish her off in the Moogle shop with some cheap traits for 5 million money each. I'll grab Ariel and I'll grab another strength trait until I figure out more traits for her, but she's not even that great in all honesty. Um, I just figured I'd actually just upgrade her, have her ready in case I need her for the future. But back then, attack boost 6 max was the skill to give the newest medals, so that's how far this game's come. Um, we are what we're at, like, attack boost 15 max now, or attack boost 14 max, or something like that, right? So that's pretty crazy to me. Like, what do I have on these medals? Attack boost 13 max. 14 max, so yeah, 14 max is the new meta right now, and that was back then where we had attack boost 6 max. Anyways, moving on, let's talk about Toon Riku. So Toon Riku is a reverse power metal, whereas Toon Namine was a upright power metal. Toon Riku, Supernova Plus Plus Toon Riku, has a max base strength of 49,749, so significantly better than Namine already, by almost 5,000. Uh, or just over 5,000 actually. No, just 4,000, never mind. Um, this metal has a single target uh, special attack and it'll deal 13 hits that ignore target's defense attributes. So that's tar target's defense attributes to target's attributes. For one turn, it'll buff your power metal strength by 10,000 and buff yourself for reverse and power strength by 15 tiers. Debuffs the target's for, uh, reverse and just reverse defense, never mind. Special attack bonus plus 220%, count plus 1, damage is higher the higher your slot number, so this metal will work really well on your pet slot or slot number 5. Pierce's defense boost 30% of the time, that's pretty good. Cost 4 gauges to use, it's a tier 10 metal, 62.16 to 74.01 multiplier. So not a bad multiplier, but not a great one. If you're using this in slot 4, 5, or 6, it should be okay. Obviously 5 and 6 will maximize the damage output for this metal. Um, because its damage multiplier will be at its highest. Supernova-wise, this metal has 
an AoE special attack, I mean supernova attack, and it does have mastery. And for one turn, it'll buff your power metal strength by 12,000, and buff yourself for general strength by 15 tiers, and debuff the enemy for general defense by 15 tiers. Special attack bonus plus 320%, pierces defense boost 50% of the time, 240 times multiplier there as well, and triggers before slot 1 is activated when defending in PvP. So not a bad metal, to be honest with you. It is a single target metal, so keep that in mind. Um, however, this metal does have piercing defense boost damage for its special attack as well as its supernova. And not a terrible multiplier, and not a terrible base strength, so it's not a bad metal to have for sure. Oops. I was not trying to do that. Let's go back to our metals. And then we'll upgrade my copy, because I do have a single copy of Toon Riku. I think it used to be tier 5 metal. So I do have Toon Riku here. Really cool metal. We'll have to upgrade him to max here first before we can evolve him. But let's evolve him here. And as you can see, significant upgrades throughout this whole thing. Let me just take a quick little screenshot here, because this is a pretty cool thumbnail, if you ask me. Uh, and also guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about my thumbnails. Do you guys prefer the self-made thumbnails? Um, or do you prefer just screenshots of things happening in-game? Let me know in the comments below. I think I know the answer to that already, but I feel like for certain videos, a screenshot of the game works better than a, like a personally made thumbnail from yours truly here. So there you have it, Supernova++ Plus Plus Toon Riku, maxed out, pretty solid metal, especially for PvP. For every other type of content, he's not all that great to be honest with you, but he's a pretty solid PvP metal, and I will probably actually end up using him, even though he does cost 4 gauges to use, I will have to throw an SP skill on him. But aside from that guys, yeah, like, um, I can show you guys what their special attack looks like. Nominate doesn't really have a special attack animation, but we'll show you guys Toon Riku here, because Toon Riku is a pretty cool metal. Let's go into this, why not? We can use Dark Gnaw. Let's see here. And what we'll do here is just copy Let's go like this. Yeah, okay, good enough. We'll just we're, we're just testing uh, testing out the metal, showing you guys its special attack animation because I know a lot of you guys probably don't have this metal. Okay, well, we're gonna kill all the gold trichlomas. Because we might as well. I don't know if there's a third one. Three, yeah, we need to look for another one. Alright, so for this guy, we should be able to actually use... Okay, so it's Riku's old animation. So, like, I don't remember which... No, is it Sora's old? Yeah, so Sora and Riku... Illustrated Sora and Riku, I believe, had the exact same animation as that Toon Riku metal. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. I won't go into the metal itself, into a quest, um, but I'll show you guys what, I, what I'm talking about. I think I still have both those metals. I think it's Illustrated Sora A and Illustrated Riku A, but they've since, they've, uh, they've become supernova metals since then. What are they? I think they're tier nine now, eight? I don't know. Hold up, let me find it. Yeah, so I do think it's the exact same special attack as this metal here. And same thing with Riku. Except I think I upgraded my copy of Riku. Yeah, so this is the tier 9 version of Riku now, but... Exact same special attack, I believe, from what I remember. Don't quote me on that, let me know if I'm wrong, or if I'm right in the comments below. I'm not gonna test it right now, but... That's the end of the video, guys, I think. We'll leave it at that. I don't have any more items to touch on right now. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys are doing Dark Road quests, because there are daily quests right now. 
daily missions where you do get 200 jewels every single day from Dark Road, so the jewels really do add up. 200 there from Dark Road, 300 from daily missions from Union Cross, and then obviously your daily login jewels, your login bonus jewels. So you're looking at probably like 800, like 700 jewels a day on average, 750 jewels a day on average, which is pretty solid to be honest with you, because that's like a free pull basically every four days, which is not bad at all. So make sure you guys are logging in and doing your quests and your dailies and stuff. And I will leave it at that, guys. Hopefully you have a great day, wherever you are, whatever time it is. And uh, yeah, catch y'all soon. Enjoy your days and your lives, I guess. <laughs> catch y'all. Peace.